Ah, Stu Oldham. Now there's a character. Picture this. A sunny afternoon, the gentle lapping of water against the boat, a peaceful silence. And suddenly, Stu reels in a boot. Not a fish, mind you, but a soggy, old leather boot. He looks at it, then at me, and without missing a beat, says, Well, at least it's not a croc. That's Stu for you, always ready with a joke, even when his fishing skills are, shall we say, subpar. Speaking of fishing with Stu, once we were out on the lake, the sun was setting, casting a beautiful orange glow on the water. Suddenly, Stu's fishing rod bends with the weight of a catch. He jumps up, excitement gleaming in his eyes. After a heroic struggle, what does he pull out? A tin can. But Stu, being Stu, just laughs and says, Well, I've always said, I'm a magnet for junk. Now, you may think these stories are entertaining, and they are. But they also serve as cautionary tales. You see, fishing with Stu Oldham is not for the faint-hearted. For one, he has an uncanny knack for catching everything but fish. Boots, cans, seaweed, you name it, Stu's caught it. It's like the fish can sense his presence and swim in the opposite direction. Secondly, his sense of direction is, well, non-existent. On more than one occasion, we've ended up on the wrong side of the lake, or once, in a completely different lake altogether. It's a wonder we made it back at all. And let's not forget his infamous fish dance. Yes, you heard it right. Whenever Stu feels like the fish aren't biting, he does this ridiculous jig, claiming it's a sacred ritual to summon the fish. It's an amusing spectacle, sure, but not when you're trying to reel in a big one and Stu's flailing about scares it off. Last but certainly not least, Stu's fishing stories. Oh, the stories. He has a tale for every occasion. Caught a small fish? Stu has a story about the time he caught a fish so small it could fit on a coin. No fish at all? Well, Stu once spent an entire weekend without a single bite. The problem is, after the tenth retelling, these stories tend to lose their charm. So, if you're considering a fishing trip with Stu Oldham, remember this. You're more likely to end up with a collection of junk than fish. You'll probably get lost. You might have to endure the fish dance. And you'll definitely hear more fishing stories than you ever wanted to. But hey, at least you'll never be short of a laugh.